allowed widespread violations of wage and hour laws. <clears throat> resulting in workers being robbed of wages they had earned and are legally owed. In fact, 77% of workers surveyed had experienced wage theft, and 33% experienced wage theft regularly, meaning often or always. When, wa when workers are shorted the wages they are earned, this can mean the difference between being able to pay their bills or not. We found several forms of wage theft. The most common was unpaid off-the-clock work, which 60% of surveyed workers experienced. Many times workers come in early to set up for their shifts or stay late to roll silverware, clean, or stock without being paid for that time. We also found minimum wage violations, and a third of all surveyed workers had experienced violations of overtime, not being paid time and a half for their extra hours. Others were experiencing violations of reporting time pay. Reporting time pay is required under the law when workers show up at their scheduled time, even if they are sent home because business is slow. Workers invest money in transportation and sometimes in childcare to show up to work and they give up opportunities to earn money during that time at other jobs. Workers experience illegal charges, having money deducted for breakages, non-paying customers, and when the cash drawer was short. In the restaurant industry, workers are robbed of their income not only through unpaid wages, but also through tip theft. One in five workers who were tipped in our study experienced some type of tip theft. Managers skim off tips, they reduce workers' wages because of tips, and they decrease tips by deducting credit card fees, all of which are illegal. From the surveys and interviews, it was clear that the TIP system promotes abuse. The TIP system is obscure and complicated, and workers do not know what they're owed. In fact, more workers in the survey didn't know whether they were having tips stolen than knew. In terms of breaks, the vast majority of the surveyed workers experienced violations of their breaks. Their 10-minute rest breaks, or their 30-minute lunch breaks, or both. Worse, nearly a quarter of workers surveyed reported that their employers make them falsely report having taken breaks that they did not take. A common scenario is that workers have to clock out at the end of the day, and in order to do so, they have to verify that they've taken a break even when they haven't. In other instances, managers sent workers back out onto the floor after clocking them out for their meal break. In these cases, workers not only lose their needed rest period, but are owed wages for that half an hour, and are made to create a record that protects the employer if the worker was to later try to claim those unpaid wages. Moreover, workers don't really know that they're owed an hour worth of wages for every break violation. Our analysis showed that wage theft is common across all groups of workers and all types of restaurants. We did find somewhat higher rates of wage theft among women, Latinos, and back-of-the-house workers. Other important findings from our study include lack of paid sick days, lack of health insurance, discrimination, include lack of paid sick days, lack of health care, discrimination, and unpredictable and ever-changing schedules that rob workers of their personal time. Our findings are consistent with other studies across cities and states in, in the country 
that show workers are being robbed of literally billions of dollars a year in wage theft. The hotel industry in these studies is one of the biggest violators. In San Diego, almost one out of every 10 workers works in the restaurant industry. And the employment in this sector is growing faster than the economy in general.